Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Legally329 in here today, and this is kind of a sad day because this is my final 2014 set review of these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sets based off the Nickelodeon TV show. There will be movie sets coming out in the summer, but they're not quite the same as these TV show sets. And this set today, we have set number 79122. This is Shredder's Lair Rescue. This set retails for about $50 here in the US. You can find them at Toys R Us's and the Lego store. Now, if you go to Toys R Us, just you know, pull up on your phone if you have a phone that has internet capabilities. The ad on Lego.com for this set, and they will price match it because they had it marked up about 10% at Toys R Us. So that's actually a really nice thing that Toys R Us is doing right now. This set contains 478 pieces, 8 to 10 for 14. And here's a front look at your box. Excuse me, I think Dog Pound is kind of going a little bit crazy in the background, but here's a look at the back of your box. This set here includes two very nice size instruction manuals. The first one here has 73 pages of building, and the second one has 39. Our first minifigure is the first of two turtles included with this set, and that is Raphael. Now, he is pretty much the same as the versions we saw from last year. The torso printing, the leg printing, the size as weapons, all the same, but his face has had a little bit of an alternate expression, which is pretty cool. Here is Raphael from the back with his turtle shell, and there is his back printing. Our second figure here is Michelangelo, and he's kind of the same deal as Raphael. He's printing on his legs and his torso are all the same, but his face right there does have kind of a different expression, which is very nice to get. There he is from the back with his turtle shell, and he features some very nice back printing. Our third minifigure is one that we got in a lot of sets last year, actually the only set you can get him in this year. That is a foot soldier, very generic, but some great detail right there and very cool for army building purposes. There is the foot soldier from the back. All right, the foot soldier just got way cooler and way taller. This is the robot foot soldier, an exclusive minifigure to this set. A really cool looking fig, kind of a hodgepodge of some other pieces we've seen from Lego before. The Garmadon figure from Ninjago last year had that weird extra torso piece right there, which looks pretty cool. It had the four arms effect, which is very nice. Really cool looking detail with the foot soldier right here. There he is from the back. And our final minifigure here is definitely the coolest in this set, the big baddie himself, that is Shredder. He is very similar to the one that came out last year, however, last year he kind of had some dark red details, this time around he has purple, and I think the purple does look a little bit better for Shredder right here. A really cool looking minifigure, all his detail is fantastic, I love the molding for his helmet and his shoulder pads right there, and those claws that we saw from the Prince of Purchase sets originally, really, really well for this figure, that's really cool. The expression he has underneath his helmet is actually exclusive. And there he is from the back. Actually, he doesn't feature any back printing, just like last year. So that's kind of disappointing. Now, the turtles do get their own little small vehicle in this set. I don't really know exactly what you would call this, a turtle flyer. It's kind of a weird design, but does look pretty cool, and you can't fit. Raphael right there to control this thing, which is a very nice little detail, and he actually can attach his sides onto the back right there, which is very cool. I really like the design, like I went with back here. This flame piece adds a nice effect. Only a few stickers on this vehicle. Really nice little design for an added vehicle into this set, and I'll show you what this does in just a minute. The only other accessory included in this set is this small little catapult, and basically you can probably figure out what I'm going to do is you can actually launch your minifig from it right there, which is a pretty nice little feature. It works pretty well. Not a great design. It only has, you know, maybe 10 pieces, but it's still a pretty cool little added play feature. The other stuff was, you know, all right, but this is the main meat of the set, Shredder's Lair itself, and I actually really like the design on this thing. You can see some detail from the bottom area right here, which is very nice. These are actually glow-in-the-dark studs right there. Some nice little water details. Wish there was a little bit more water because there is lots of water in the layer in the actual TV show. Some nice spikes going on right here. A staircase, which has a feature I'll show in just a minute. And you also have some torches right there, which is pretty cool. On this side of the layer, you have a pretty cool design using some of those newer arch pieces. I really like the details of those claws right there. And there are some weapons racks inside here, which are easily removed with two shurikens right there. And the other side has two golden kakanas, which is pretty nice. But the details on this side are even better. I really love the look of the design like I went with right here for this prison. You actually can fit a minifig inside the prison right here. And basically that chain piece I was showing you on the back of the turtle flyer basically acts as a way to pull off this little piece right here to save your prisoner. The upper area of the layer right here is relatively plain and a whole lot going on. We do have some pretty cool designs right here. And these little windows on the side are kind of loosely attached. But that's for a reason because you can basically have your little flyer come and crash into the building right there, which is a pretty nice little effect. And then you have Shredder's throne right there, which is pretty cool. But there's actually a little feature involving that throne. From the back of the layer here, you can see these little handles. You can actually open up this part right here, and the throne can detach and turn into its little own flyer right there, which is kind of silly. I don't really remember that from the TV show, but it's a pretty cool little added play feature for the kids. I must say, I really like the stained glass effect Lego accomplished right here up top, which is actually pretty cool. Now, you see those two levers from the back? Well, actually, this is what's going to activate the main play feature of this set. 
So basically by pulling on the back lever right here, pay close attention to the staircase, they actually fall in, which is pretty cool. Then pushing on that red lever launches this little disc. You might not have been able to catch it because it goes so fast, but this little disc actually launches out of there, which is a really interesting play feature. If you push back on that lever back there, it will make the staircase go back up. A really unique play feature. I've never seen anything quite like that from LEGO before. So I had to give lots of props to the designer for this set for designing that feature. It's actually really cool. Alright guys, Final Verge here on Shredder's Lair Rescue. This set has it all, but it doesn't have everything that I really wanted. I don't really know how to explain that, but the whole thing just doesn't feel terribly exciting to me. It's not a terribly exciting looking structure, but it has lots of playability. It's a good value. The minifigs, okay, the minifigs aren't great because they're really mainly just variations of figures we've already gotten before. I wish we had gotten, you know, an exclusive mutant like Razar or Tiger Claw from the TV show, but a pretty cool looking set that just seems to be missing a wow factor in my opinion. So my final rating, I want to give this a high rating, but I'm going to give it kind of like a mid-range high rating at 8.5 out of 10. It's a very fair rating for this set. I would definitely highly recommend it, but I don't think this is the one you have to get out of this entire wave. If you have $50, I would save 10 more and buy the Turtle Sub instead, but if you really want some of these minifigs and you really want you know, a villain layer for your Teenage Mutant Turtles collection, I would definitely go and pick up this set. So what do you guys think about this set? What is your favorite minifig from this set? And now that I've reviewed all of the 2014 TMNT sets based off the TV show, what is your favorite set based from all of those TV show sets? All five of them. Mine would have definitely had to be the Turtles sub, but what's your guys' favorite? Please rate, comment, subscribe to this video. Please go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. There will be links to all this stuff in the description below. Go check out my eBay store and my other two YouTube channels. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.